Welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel I am Twisted Logic. In this video I'm going to show you the dark magic that I use to drain the ocean. <laughs> We're still draining it right now. We're going to see how low we can take it, but this is for the purpose of terraforming. My fortress Tullinabash is now the capital and it's 31 years since we embarked. And we're now starting to terraform the outside world. So this is a 7x7 seven seven in bark tile. And the entire bottom of it here is an ocean. And I want to decrease the amount of land spawns that happen. And increase the amount of ocean spawns that happen. As well as make the ocean larger. In order to do this I want to dig down several layers. Because I don't want the ocean just one tile deep. Okay. So we're going to drain the ocean. So I found a spot like right about here. If I come down one layer, if I come down another layer. So I dug out a room in the flattest part of the ocean that I could find here. And we are going to channel down all of these tiles here. So I'll show you some ancient magic of the old gods. Excellent, the room is dug out and we kept these ramps in place, which is important. So now we're gonna build a bridge. And now this can raise to the north or be a retract bridge, doesn't matter. And so we'll have this raise to the north right here and we're going to use the closest material. Excellent, so they're going to come and build this. So down one level right here, we're going to go to build and constructions and a track stop. Okay, we're going to have this dump to the north. Maximum resistance and we're going to put one right here. And we're going to do another one, dump to the north right here excellent the four track stops are in place and so we're going to go to hauling and create a new route and create a new stop and we're going to place that stop over each one of these so one there and then a new route new stop next one over new route new stop next one over and new route new stop next one over just like that Okay, so all these are now renamed. Okay, and we're going to go in and remove all the conditions. Okay, done. Remove all the conditions on every single one of these. Okay, all the conditions are removed from those. And we are going to add a minecart to each one of them that's not a part of anything else and also is empty. So this minecart right here. Okay, so four track stops that dump into the wall north of them. Four minecarts coming in that have nothing in them and all conditions removed. This is arcane, arcane magic. magic. When a tile of 6-7 water or higher goes on the same space as the minecart, it's going to enter the minecart and the track stop is going to dump it north into the wall, destroying it. This is going to happen once every tick of the game and it's going to be incredibly fast. Okay, so this lever right here, we're going to link the lever to that bridge. Okay, so Xan already linked this side of the bridge, so we're building the wall here as well, and that's going to hold the water back. It's going to hold the ocean back. Okay, so I channeled down here and created one more of the minecart drains down here, because this level right here, the lowest it's going to be able to drain to is, I think, 5-7, in case I need to get back into this room. Now, up one level, we're going to go to Designations Mine, and we're going to mine out all of these blocks here. So the miners can't get into this room here because of the wall, but they are able to come into the lower room and stand on the ramp and dig through the bridge to get all of these tiles out. And we're going to wait for the last minecart to come in as well as the door before we throw the lever. Excellent, here they come now. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any new videos. I appreciate all of the new and old subscribers. You make it possible for me to continue making videos. Thank you. And we're getting the last few ones. So all the minecarts are in place and we are pulling the lever right now and we're going to see how these five minecarts can drain the ocean or not. Excellent, looks like it's working. 
and let's zoom out a little bit and come up in the layers. Yes, it's working. We're draining the ocean right now. <laughs> There's a big hole right here. Yes. It's draining weird, though. So it just dumped away, like, all of the source tiles over here. And maybe we'll close... We'll close this bridge up here so that way it doesn't drain that. And wow, okay, this is the first time I drained the ocean. Uh, looks like it's re leaving wet sand behind. Oh, there, okay, there is a shelf here. So I expected this to happen over on this side over here, uh, where the drain is, like up a couple levels right about here. So even though the water's draining, every so often we get seven tiles of water here, and I believe it's because of the ocean waves. So it's possible that I'm going to need to add some more minecarts to this, uh, but we have a decent amount of the ocean drained so far. Okay, Erdem is going to pull the lever, and it's crazy because I still have about 19 or so frames per second. But down at this area here, we're going to watch how fast this drains once he pulls the lever. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Excellent. So these minecarts can only pull the water down to about uh, the depth that allows them to fill. We're going to see what the depth is over here. Okay, so now this one minecart's doing all the work now. Okay, and the ocean is already starting to fill back up. Look at this. Oh, this is crazy. Oh yeah, it is coming in from the sides here. Okay, so these are these are becoming source tiles again on the map edges. And now we're just refilling the ocean. Wow, that that looks kind of cool too. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to make more minecarts so we can we can have a lot more speed to it. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.